Hey, friends, it's Short John here, and uh, and today I'm going to tell you about a movie called Senior Year. The movie starts with a woman, middle-aged woman named Stephanie and is recording herself live on Instagram. It seems like she's making some kind of an announcement and the followers are excited to hear it. Then we're transported back in time where Stephanie and her family and friends are at a bowling club and it's her 14th birthday and she's talking about how moving to the US from Australia was a difficult step for her. While Steve is out having fun with her friends, she notices a popular, a guy named Blaine, and immediately, she falls under his hypnosis. Unfortunately, he has an arrogant, self-centered girlfriend, Tiffany. Seeing this, Steve gets up the courage to approach the couple to ask them if they'd like to join the birthday party. Birthday party. Unfortunately, Tiffany mocks the party and takes Blaine away, mesmerized by his life. Steve swears to herself that she'll become popular at any cost, and over the years, she, working hard and becoming a leader of the cheerleading squad. Now I have a lot of friends and she even slept with her. Dream guy to play us next stage. 17-year-old Steve is getting ready to go to school. And best friend Set is waiting downstairs. It turns out Set has a huge crush on her but too afraid to let his feelings out. Before she leaves, Stephanie's father Jim gives her the dress her mom left her before. Translated with DeepHell.com, free version. Death becomes emotional decides to put on his fancy dress ball, which, in a few days on his way to school, Steve stumbles upon the house of his idol and not Russo and stops by. Dinah was prom queen 95 and lived the perfect life, a beautiful body, a great, a nice house and a handsome husband and a life of envy, but hopes that one day she and Blaine could do it again. And after that, she, talking to the set about her upcoming prom, prom night, and that's how much she despises. Tiffany Stee is pretty sure she's gonna be prom queen. She's already throwing an after party at her friend's prom and at Martha's Lake House. You're invited. You know, you're inviting me to a party at my own class house. Steve finds out that Tiffany's is also throwing a party after prom and she gets jealous. Immediately confronts her in the bathroom and they start arguing later the cheerleaders. Butterhurts are getting ready to rehearse in front of in front of the whole school. March the equipment manager is trying to explain to the band how to succeed. Native doesn't interrupt and mocks her. Her, which infuriates them, and she's gonna. Makes fun of Tiffany in front of the whole group. After everyone leaves, a distraught. Tiffany starts plotting something with her too. With her friends. Soon the show starts. The performance and the band begins. Dancing gracefully despite their differences. Translated with DeepHell.com. Tiffany and Steve trying their best and. The audience seems to love it. Towards the end of the show, Steve jumps in the air. His signature jump, but unfortunately, the two girls push the boy who was supposed to catch the STF and as a result she falls to the floor. The screen goes black. Then the movie cuts to 20 years in the future. Discs suddenly comes out of a coma in hospital. Next to her bed, she notices some birthday presents meant for a 37-year-old girl. Confused step out of her. Room goes outside. She goes up to the receptionist and asks if there's any painful. The room is confusing at which point the staple sees herself in the mirror and passes out, leaving everyone stunned. Later, the doctor informs Steve that it's 2022 and she's been, has been in a coma for almost 20 years. Meanwhile, Jimmy March arrives on the scene. They're thrilled to see Step again after. 20 long years later when Jim embraces his daughter, the doctor suggests that he take his time. To take his time as Stephanie is mentally still. Still 17 years old despite not having a body. The 37-year-old then Jim and Martha decides to take Steve home on the way back. On the way back, Steve is stunned to see a smartphone, which is mistaken for a small TV. And then March tells her that she's the principal of the high school hard yes the same. The school they both went to. That's when Steve notices a grown-up Blaine. Surprisingly, he's in the house. The mysteries of Rousseau's confused father to stop the car, but when he doesn't, she jumps out of the car. Then she goes to the house, but she's shocked. When she sees Tiffany come out of it, Tiffany expresses her joy at her friends. Her friends return and also announces that she's married to Blaine. I'm her parents. Bought her food as a gift even though 100 still wants to meet Bane. But Tiffany apologizes and says to come over. Later, 
an annoyed Steve gets to the house. Home, but as soon as she enters her room, she's thrilled to find that Jim kept all her stuff and during the night, someone knocks on the door but when Steve comes out she finds no one instead. Instead she goes to a book that was sent by her. Best friend said she opens it and she finds some of her high school pictures. It touches her deeply and she remembers her late mother who always believed she could do something more and in doing so, she gets a new motivation to vow to herself that she'll be popular again the next morning. Comes to March when she's getting ready. Raised to school then she reveals her desire to enter Harding High School and graduate. March struggles to do her best. Tries to convince her friend that she's too old for that, but the latter is adamant in her decision. In the end, with no, March lets Stephanie go too. Next scene Steve is getting ready for his first day of school after 20 years and leaves for the house he and confidence however. When she gets there she finds that the place has changed a great deal. Everything has become so as not to offend anyone. Like the list of prom winners is replaced by a work of art. Because she's sending the wrong signal. That's when Steve runs into this. They're both happy to see each other. Turns out Set works as a librarian at at the same school. After a little chat, they hit the road in tea soon to catch up. After that, Steve meets Martha in her office and asks her to rejoin the support group. Bulger hurts. She mentions that she wants to to join the group to become popular and eventually win the Homecoming Queen trophy. Unfortunately, March mentions that the school no longer has prom queen. Hearing that makes Steve sad. Gets sad, but she's not ready to give up on her dreams so quickly. Heads to the cafeteria with a petition for the return of the homecoming queen. She meets three students, Janet and Yaz and Cute, who are immediately impressed and Persona you hand them the petition and all three of them. The three of them happily sign it, but she quickly realizes that no one else would sign it and unless the most the most popular kid in school, Brie Lil Say, does it first. Turns out Brie is a social media influencer. On social media with over 3 million Instagram followers and popular boyfriend Lance in school there are considered untouchable. Soon Brie approaches the group and when Steve asks her to sign the petition she refuses before, she mentions to Steve that she has a daughter of Japan, which surprises the first later Steve heads to the playground and finds out that March is working as a cheerleading coach. Janet and I are in the cheerleading squad, too. They're performing and skinning, which makes Steve laugh. Turns out that the school banned all forms of sexual dancing because it was offensive to some of the students. Disappointed, Steve heads to the, to the library and meets up with this person where she, she learns about the wonders of Instagram and how, and how it can help you get popular. So she goes home and begs her dad to buy a cell phone, but surprisingly, he, he's already bought her a phone for her, which she's, she's thrilled and she spends the whole night on live. And now she's got one thing on her mind, and that's to get a lot of Instagram followers the next. The next day, Steve and a few other students are doing group activities in the house. Janet, but the only thing on her mind is becoming prom queen. So she gives her friends an inspirational, a speech about being popular and even makes them dance to her. Favorite moves on the next stage. The marching principal holds a ceremony to which all the students are gathered along with their parents. Tiffany, who happens to be the head of the high school PDA, Harding even here she shows her selfish nature by announcing that the tickets to the prom will cost a whopping $93. Now it's time for the Burgers dance performance. The Burgers, led by F, they take the stage, the stage, and begin an abysmal, a program based on the usual equality, but they quickly change clothes and start sexually dancing, and it surprises their parents. In the audience, including Tiffany, but Bain seems to be impressed by it the next morning. Steve wakes up to find that the dance video has gone viral and, and now she's got tons of followers on Instagram. She goes to school with a smile on her face, on her face, and it seems like everyone likes her, but March accuses her of, of ruining the ceremony with her erotic dance moves. Steve's defense says she's trying. The girl's having more fun. She claims that living 
In a coma was a lot more fun than going to. Martha's school in the next scene we see. Divided at Tiffany's, she approaches her daughter and orders her to reinstate. Homecoming queen. Plus, she wants her daughter to take part. To take part in the Victoria Steve's fight. For the crown. Brie quickly denies it, claiming that she's not interested. But when Tiffany warns her of her punishment, she has no choice but to agree. Meanwhile, Steve is set on A. A date where Steve expresses his desire. To be prom queen she gets. Emotional and mentions that I'm a mother. Emotional and mentions that I'm a mother. Always believed in her and that this goal has a special meaning in her life after hearing. This C36 article partnered up with the prom and support her the next day of March. Announces that at the request of the Brie, the school is reinstating the election of a king and queen at the prom. This has steps in the the group is thrilled, but soon Steve learns that he would and will fight for the king and queen. In her class, all the students except Steve gets an invitation from Tiffany to the to an after-prom party. A disappointed Steve decides to announce her after-prom party, heads home and frantically searches for something in her closet. After a while, she finds including a lake house Martha, goes live on Instagram and announces that she's throwing a free a party after she wins. Prom next stage finally. It's the busk of the evening and Sir is waiting for the, for the step to gather. An awkward conversation with Jim who offers to take owl security at which point. Steve shows up dressed in her dress and her late mother's. Her late mother's set stunned by the beauty at the prom Esty noticing. Tiffany at the voting booth and start making fun of her. She even, she even votes for Bree saying she believes she's gonna. She even votes for Bree saying she believes she's gonna win. To start the live broadcast. Well, that's the price of the fight to start the seduction. But when Steve tries to push him off the set, sees this, he walks away, mesmerized. Even though Steve tries to stop him, then Blaine walks away. F1 sad nobody to drive her home. Stealth proves a cab, but she's very shocked to learn that the driver is yes, and on Rousseau, it turns out Dinah lost her husband's wealth and fame when out of their 30 years old. She talks about her. Regrets about being obsessed with popularity when she could have studied hard and become someone. Hearing this, Steve realizes his mistake and coming home to hide her posters too. The next morning, a distraught Steve heads for the kitchen, but Jim cheers her up by telling her the importance of family and friends' speech convinces Stephanie to apologize to Martha out of it and that's when she goes on the air as shown at the beginning of the movie. She apologizes profusely. Revealing that since this Martha has been the only ones to support her when she was new in the country then as a. The stream ended Tiff not unexpectedly. Shows up outside and apologizes. His own apologies for the trouble. Which has caused Stapp though it's. It's unusual for a stalker to accept an apology and they. Reconciles the next day at school. There's a graduation ceremony. Students are called up on stage and when. It's Steve's turn. She expresses her. Gratitude for having friend like Martha afterward the entire dance team including Tiffany and Martha and Seth and even Blaine start dancing to Steve's favorite moves. Surprises Steve, but she can't help to join the group. Finally, she does her famous jump and this time, this time she does it perfectly. The movie ends with Steve is set, finally sorting out his feelings and express their love and that's it gentlemen. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and give us a like. See you soon. Take care.